Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would show you my China virus bug out bag for when martial law hits and we are all rounded up and put into FEMA camps. This bag I put together myself based on a life of experiences, all sorts of experiences. So stay with me and I will show you what is, in my opinion, the ultimate bug out bag. So here's my bug out bag for this China flu which is upon us now. So let's dig in and see what we got in this surplus army backpack. So of course, firstly, we got some essential oils. We got to have that. Never know when you might need it. Opening up our bag. Firstly, we got the entrenching tool. This is a military style entrenching tool because you never know when you need to dig a trench, dig a foxhole, dig a fighting position to fight the virus. So here we are. Moving on, the survival manual. This is the SAS survival manual. It will show you how to fight the virus in the wilderness, how to make traps, navigate, do all sorts of important things, how to do first aid against the virus. So, SAS survival manual. Toilet paper, self-explanatory. Really, really good bartering item. Duct tape. So if you get shot, you just wrap it up with duct tape. No problem. You can also restrain people who don't want to do what you tell them to do. You just wrap them up in duct tape. Very good. Your car breaks down. Just stick it back together. No problem. Duct tape solves all your problems. Fire starting. You never know when you might need to make a fire. Really important item to have in your bug out bag. You really don't want to go without it. A good solid knife. So this is a knife used by the Japanese or Chinese or Asian army. And as you know, this is a China virus. So you need a Asia knife to fight it. That's quite obvious. So a very nice, big, strong knife there. Rope, of course, is really important. Everybody knows why you need to have rope. Self-explanatory, super self-explanatory. Body bags, people will die. You need to wrap them up in something. So body bags. Mess kit and MREs. You don't want to go hungry during the apocalypse, during your bug out. So you better take some food as well with you, right? And you can't only have food, you also need to have some coffee. So this should take you through at least three days. Then you need to think about self-defense. So firstly, self-defense against, you know, the two-legged and four-legged variety. Some extra clips for your 45 because of course 45 is the best and the only reason why 45 is you can't have 46 right so 45 then you need some ammo for your 45 so you want to have some ammo there for your 45 dig in here and see if we can get out all the ammo for your 45 here ammo for the 45 because you never know how many viruses you need to shoot during your uh, here's all the 45 we got some loose 45 now as well so yeah some 45 there it's important to have in your bug out bag then some gunpowder because you might need to make some more 45 
few packs of 9mm because there might be need to trade for some more 45. Then we got a few extra bartering items here, some hard liquor, again, to trade for more 45. We got some shotgun ammo as well here, in case you feel like shooting some skeet while you only bug out, you never know what might happen. And of course, we are talking about defense, so we need to defend against the spiritual as well as the non-spiritual heathens, right? So. You got to have the Holy Bible with you, the regular Bible with you, Hebrew Bible, Greek Bible, and yeah, that's the Bibles which you will need for defense against the spiritual. And then finally, maybe the most important item in your entire bug out bag is your military spec will be. This will take you down way below freezing, keep you nice and snug during your survival endeavors. So, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and send me a huge amount of money through PayPal.